Hi, chickies. Hi, my brick bricks. Who wants flopping time? They all want flopping time. Chuck really wants flopping time. Yeah, you do. Well, come on. It's been raining. We have had bad weather. And we have not been able to get out and have flopping time. But we have sunny days ahead. Hopefully you do wherever you are too and the storms have all passed. That would be great news. Hi kids. Who wants to have some flopping time? Who's ready to storm the castle? Who's ready to storm the castle gate? We got one trying to break in. We're trying to break out. Well, come on. Yeah, but that, but that. Here comes little Peep and the Peepers. Hi, kids. Mom, you don't need to come out today. I don't have a ladder. She says, why not? I think she's going out anyway. I don't think it's a good idea. She really, really is ready to get out of the coop. Careful, you got a baby under there. Let us see the kids, Mom. I'll have to open, well, if I open the other door, she'll fly out more. She's like, fine, I won't show them to you. There they are. Why are the chickens crossing the road? I don't get it either, Chuck. So you may ask yourself, why didn't the chicken cross the road? And I think it's because she thinks that there's a KFC over there. <laughs> badak, badak. I don't know how things are where you are. But I'll tell you, it seems like everything has just gotten crazy around here. It's like doctor's appointments after doctor's appointments. Then this garden. Oh my gosh. I just picked three huge cucumbers. And I already had cucumbers in the house from it. We've got some nice eggplants that are growing. So the garden is coming along. But how do you handle stress when you're dealing with it? I'll tell you today, I didn't deal with it really great because I got on the phone with a customer service agent about my credit card being charged twice and they were not helpful. It's like they talk 90 to nothing, so you can't understand anything. So how do you handle those kinds of things? I have found that weeding the flower beds, coming out with chickens, checking for eggs, all of the normal stuff that you do when you get outside is helpful. But I have surgery on Friday. Friday. So if you don't see me much, it's because I'm having surgery on my hand. And I may not be able to use my hand for a little while. So I say, don't sweat the small stuff. Things could be worse. No point in worrying over something that you can't change. That's my wise words of the day. One of the kids went inside the coop. She's just checking it out. I see her right there at the door. She's coming out. She was checking out the little babies. She was saying, hey there, nice to meet ya. I thought about putting them in here and putting little Peep and the kids in the tractor 
but my husband is not home and I think if we have a massacre go on I'd rather not deal with that by myself so I'm gonna wait Chuck's stretching out his wings sometimes that's just what you got to do stretch it out stretch it out if you haven't ever watched the other woman funny movie but yeah, that comes from that movie where I say that. Stretch it out. It's a funny scene. Hello there. <laughs> One of the kids are playing like they're king of the mountain. Sometimes it's just nice to play king or queen of the mountain. The sun is setting. So I decided I should go and check for eggs again. Because I didn't check before I let the littles out, which is not a smart thing to do. But we got two more eggs. So that's four from the kids and two from the bigs today. Another half a dozen. I tell you, six chickens were plenty. <laughs> they call that chicken math when you add four more and then three more. And who knows how many more? How's your chicken math? Hey, we sure hope you had a great weekend. A great Father's Day to all that are dads. And all the people that don't have their dads or have mixed emotions or bad emotions. You know, holidays are hard. They are just... They're just not easy. Even if you have the best family in the world, holidays are still hard. So, pick your chin up, turn that frown upside down, and know that you are not alone. You're not. There's a lot of people with the same feelings as you. It's just we're all in our own little echo chambers. So, we sure are glad you decided to stop by here and share time with us see what these chickens are up to they're just chickening enjoying time out since they had to be cooped up with all that rain we've had but have a great day tomorrow tomorrow is another day it's like a new week but a new day so make it a great one. Try and make somebody smile. And if you can't, act like a chicken and drive everybody crazy. So on top of my chuck, come on. So on top of my surgery on Friday, the doctor told me it's like putting my toe, big toe, into a kiddie pool. So it's an easy surgery, minor has a little bit of recuperation time. But after that, I get another surgery on Tuesday. So, yay, celebrate two surgeries within seven days. I don't know if they advise that. I don't think I've told them either one that I have another surgery. But wish me luck. <laughs> It's the cutest thing how he feeds those hens. Calls them over, gives them the food. Like, when do you eat, buddy? <laughs> Stretch it out. So, the other day we found these uh, caterpillars on my blueberry bushes. And then last night, we went hornworm hunting, and oh my gosh, I had so many treats to give these guys that we got out of the garden, and they were gone in like five seconds flat. Did you find them, a, did you find them some food, Chuck? He's like, yeah, I did. It's a trick, don't fall for it. You know, in life, we have two choices. Happy or sad, 
good or bad, negative or positive, and no matter what the situation is, however you choose to react to it, has a lot with how you deal with it. So whatever you're dealing with, try and have a positive outlook on it. Most things that we go through, we learn from. And even if it's a bad thing, we can still learn from it. So that's my inspiration of the day. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, if you uh, happen to watch this video, if you can leave a comment, it doesn't have to be anything big, just so that I know that you've been here, then that way if you have a channel, I can go over and like and comment on your video too. If you don't leave a comment, I don't know that you watch. We appreciate it. I saw some more... Uh, caterpillars on my blueberry bush. I'm going to have to go get scissors and cut them off. Ugh, I don't look forward to this. This is my husband's job. Bug control. Not the same as a cricket party. But I put him down there. Chuck, he cares more about my jar that I put him into when I brought him over here. They're in here, buddy. Looks like it's time for the chicken traffic jam. One of these knuckleheads ate a bolt the other day. No, a nut. My husband corrected me. It was a nut. It's been like, I think four or five days ago. But they all seem okay. So far, I have learned that a chicken can eat a nut and survive a week. And it doesn't slow the chicken traffic jam down a bit. Go get the worm, Chuck. He found it. This is right here. He's just going to kill it a little bit first. Thanks, buddy. You're on my bug control team. Checking to see if there's another one down here. Yep, there is. Holy crow, I'm bringing the babies out some more food and water. And Chuck says, hey. I hunted up some food. So if you want to know how my chickens ate a bolt, you heard me say I'm having uh, surgery on my hand. We have a bolt bracing the center. I dropped it. Tried to guard it with my hip and it bounced right into that enclosure. And I ran in there to try and get it out and it was gone silly knuckleheads. So I have the kids or the chicks fresh food and water so when I go to my mom's I won't have to worry about it. But yeah that's one of the reasons I'm getting surgery on my hand it's because my fingers won't grab anything properly. Pain in the neck. Hey I'll let you know how it goes. Hey Chuck, is it time to say goodnight? Yeah, brag brag to you too, buddy. Brag. That's my night in chicken language.